al-Jazeera, it's, it's, it's a mouthpiece for Osama bin Laden and al-Qaeda, and they'll blow off, uh, you know, balance, they'll scoff it, something like that. And um, I mean, is it, is it, <laughs> is it that? And I'm sorry, I mean, I'm going to ask you one No, no, no. You know, I just remember something because I, uh, before coming here, I mean, one of my favorite sites, the ones I, oh, I, I, I log on to, to, to actually love, is this ultra Arab nationalist site. And every single week they have this uh, countdown uh, to Jazeera's demise because Al Jazeera is the mouthpiece of international Zionism. Al Jazeera is an agent of American imperialism. Al Jazeera is this. <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and very few people know that we Al Jazeera actually um, uh, got warnings from Al Qaeda on a couple of occasions because they thought we misrepresented their their views. And I mean. Uh, Osama bin Laden uses Al Jazeera because Al Jazeera is the most popular, and we will, uh, if his tapes are new, we have hundreds of Osama bin Laden tapes we don't air because they are not politically wor uh, worthy. I mean, there, there is no news in them. But if something is new, uh, is of news value, we'll we'll air them. I, I have to ask this question because I saw it in your notes, and it, it surprised me um, that mentioned that you were a classmate. Yes. Bin Laden. Yeah. He, like, that, was that inside, I guess that was inside. Inside the area, yes. Was there anything to indicate that he was going to become the figure that he became? No, no. He was a pacifist, very polite kid. I mean, I was the rabble rouser of the classroom with a bunch of my friends. We had a gang and would, uh, you know, uh, set up traps for the teachers and, and all that. He was the polite kid in the classroom. Uh, he comes from a very wealthy family, but he would ask his chauffeur to drop him like three blocks away so he'd walk with the riffraff like us, you know. And uh, uh, he excelled in two topics, mathematics and soccer. Brilliant soccer player and uh, got the final marks in math. Jewish groups in Northern, uh, North America are so well ensconced uh, here in North America, uh, they're doing very well, they're prospering, but they are not willing to get their hands really dirty. Put your, your, uh, your place, uh, yourself in the place of uh, Shimon Peres or El Sharon or uh, even Netanyahu or any soldier in the IDF and then come and talk to me about anti-Semitism. If those people are not willing to, to ban Jazeera, if those people are defending I mean, yesterday I was here in an interview with CBC, and uh, someone was calling in and said, don't you think Al Jazeera is, uh, uh, is a propaganda tool? And I had with me my Israeli colleague, uh, Leron uh, Etzmar, and Leron said, listen, I'm going to answer this, don't answer. And he said, no, I disagree. I think Al Jazeera is the only medium in the Middle East that gives both people a fair, fair opportunity. Israelis are saying that. So uh, how come a person living in Canada or the United States uh, want to dictate to the people in the Middle East, whether Israelis or Arabs, how to run their affairs? And people have the right to watch Al Jazeera. And I believe it's paranoia. And it has to stop because they, it's going to... to, to to, to backfire, and they're going to be accused of, uh, of uh, re uh, basically trying to control what people watch and see. And uh, remember, the history of anti-Jewish uh, presence was not an Islamic phenomenon. It's always been a Christian phenomenon. Before the 20th century, there wasn't a single Jewish-Islamic conflict. In Andalusia, in Spain, for six centuries, they complemented each other. Ibn Rushd and Ishaq bin Maimun. Ishaq bin Maimun was the foremost Jewish scholar. His work was plagiarized by the likes of Thomas Aquinas. He was the philosopher of Andalusia. Ibn Rushd created what's so called the Judeo Islamic tradition. And unfortunately, people are not aware of that because people are ill informed. And they love to play to this. It's so easy to picture the world in black and white. And it's full of shades of, of billions of shades of gray.